Back to the raw food muscle i'm your host santiago and today we're back again here on healthy power tv so on today's show i'm going to be answering the number one question and the number one question i used to ask myself is where do i get my protein from also you guys i'm going to be taking you guys with me to the gym to get our pump on because one of the things i love to do is to split my body up into different days to maximize muscle growth man and i'm going to be showing you guys a amazing raw protein pack shake so let's get it on man and let's go to the gym and get it done let's go All right guys, that is it. I crossed out back, biceps, did some cardio, did a little bit of uh, calves and some abs. Now I'm just like spent, man. And it's time for me to refuel. It's time to get some raw protein power, baby. Let's go. One of the most important things you need to be doing within 20 to 30 minutes after you work out is replenish those nutrients in your body by having a raw protein shake. So I'm going to be showing you guys a real simple, easy way to make a shake. All you need is two bananas, which is a great source of potassium, a great source of carbohydrates, some dark leafy greens, a complete protein, of course. And I'm also going to be putting some coconut water. This comes straight from the coconut made by Taste Nirvana awesome source of electrolytes. This isn't that fake me out Gatorade full of artificial flavors, artificial colors, and processed sugars, guys. This is the real deal. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to be putting in here is some protein powder made by Sprout Living, a great source of raw protein powder, which you can find on my website, therawfoodmuscle.com. So let's go get some leafy greens, which I grow in my own yard. That's right. You can grow your own greens in your own yard. This is just amazing, and you can do it yourself. It's so easy. Let's go check it out. All right, you guys, we're out here in my garden. I'm going to be picking my own dark leafy green kale, which is great for protein. It's a complete protein. It's got vitamin A, B, C, and K, which is great for bone health. Not only that, but it has more vitamin C than oranges, and it has more calcium per calorie than milk itself, man. Is that crazy or what? Kale also has cancer-fighting abilities. And why is that? Because kale is an alkaline food and cancer cannot live in an alkaline oxygenated body and that's what I'm talking about. It has more iron per calorie than beef, more protein than beef, and on top of that is a better quality than beef itself, brother. 
So don't get blindsided by the protein myth, man. All right, guys, so we're back. I got four cups of my kale in here. I got it, and by the way, this is a high-speed blender. This is Blendtec, there's all different types out there. If you don't have a high-speed blender, you might wanna consider taking off the stems or the back of the, uh, the kale because the high-speed blender really breaks down the fibers, and it, it is extremely powerful and fast, and that's why I like using the high-speed blender. But if you don't have one, don't sweat the technique, man. You can get some spinach, Another great alternative, you can get some spirulina, awesome source, also Corella. And uh, I also put in here two scoops of my favorite source of protein powder, which is Sproutine, baby. Sproutine is made by a company called Sprout Living. And not only that, they also have an awesome line of protein powder called Epic Protein. And they come in three different flavors. And to tell you the truth, I use every single last one of them because I make all different types of shakes with these things. And not only that, I even make raw protein bars, brownies that are 100% raw. And the reason why I like them so much is because not only are they raw, but they're organic, non-GMO, vegan. All their stuff comes from Sprouts and Superfood, which makes an awesome protein packed powder. And last but not least is some honey. I'm just gonna add a little bit of honey, probably maybe a quarter cup of honey. And I just love me some honey. Mm. And one of the things about honey, if you get raw, Local honey is really good for allergies, so it's one thing you can definitely get. Some people call it a superfood. I just like it because it tastes yummy, okay? So now we're ready to get this thing cracking. I got my top on, and let's get this thing rocking and rolling, baby. All righty, I think we're all set to go. And let me get this guy all in here. Check this out, man. That is what I'm talking about. Yummy goodness, guys. Salud. Mm. That hits the spot, all right? So now we're gonna bust the protein myth, man. So people keep telling me I must have lost my mind because I'm not eating any meat. Like, how are you getting any protein? You're not gonna build muscle. You're gonna shrink if you don't eat any protein. Do I look like I need protein? I mean, look at me, I haven't eaten meat in over six years, I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing just fine, people. But the bottom line is, protein comes from amino acids. It's plain and simple. Our bodies create amino acids, and it's the eight essential amino acids that we need to get from other food sources. The eight amino, essential amino acids make the complete protein, such as the spirulina, the corella, the dark leafy greens, the sprouts, all those things are a complete protein. But even when I was eating meat, I had no idea, especially when I was eating a lot of meat and fish and eggs every two and a half to three hours, probably like five to six meals a day. But a lot of that food that I was eating, when it's cooked, a lot of those nutrients are being cooked out. The enzymes are being cooked out. And no one tells you that when you're sitting around calculating all these grams of protein, uh, because you know, when you're getting a six ounce piece of steak or chicken, you're thinking you get X amount of protein, but that's in a raw state and no one's gonna eat. I know I'm not gonna eat a raw piece of meat. So when you're cooking it, a lot of those nutrients are being cooked out. A lot of those or all the enzymes are being cooked out. And so what are we thinking of all these years of eating high amounts of protein, do our bodies really need it? Not to mention that where that food comes from, a lot of that meat is being pumped with hormones, antibiotics, and the way they feed these animals is not their natural source of food. Like cows, for example, are meant to just naturally eat the grass, but they're just pumping all types of uh, corn and, and, and different types of food into their stomachs to make them grow bigger and faster and so they can get them on the assembly line. And now I'm not saying that, you know, everyone should be, st you know, stop eating meat or anything like that. I'm just trying to widen your perspective on where your food comes from because we have no idea what we're putting into our bodies and what it's doing to our bodies because all those hormones and all those antibiotics, all that stuff that they're eating is being transferred into us when we're eating that animal, okay? So if you're gonna be eating meat, I, I would just definitely suggest you do something that's organic, grass-fed, in its natural environment. I mean, stay away from that factory stuff because it will just, it will just wear your body down. 
All right, you guys, so now you got the one-on-one on protein. Let me tell you that when it comes to building muscle, you got to put in your work, man. You got to do some work in the gym. If you were training at home, train hard. That's the only way you're going to build that muscle. You're not going to be building muscle just by eating protein all by itself and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be buff on the street. I'm going to be sexy mama on the streets. You know, you got to put in your work in the gym. You got to do some exercise, and that's just the bottom line, man. That's just the way it goes. I wish I could just be sitting around all day and still be gaining some muscle. Believe me, I'd be the first one to be sitting there like this. Mm-hmm. What's on the clicker today? I'm going to see what's on. Or be sitting out and watching my trees all day long. Mm, this is beautiful stuff. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work that way. We got to work hard. We got to make our bodies work, baby. That's it. All right, you guys, that is a wrap. And thank you so much for joining me here on Healthy Power TV. And join me next week when I'm going to prepare a raw pasta with pesto. It's going to be absolutely delicious. You're going to be like, oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. I'm going to be making it for everybody I know. And don't you worry, it's going to be absolutely yummy. So not only that, we're going to be doing the one-on-one on gardening and how to grow your own foods, guys. So I'm your host, Santiago, and I'll see you guys next time on the Raw Food Muscle.